Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me, whether this is your first time or your 50th time or your 200th time. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad that you are here. What I have today is, yes, it's another Timu unboxing. So given, you know, thinking about the purchases that I have done and you know, starting to recognize that my dustiest items have actually all been like diamond art related items. And it's really only been a few of the items. Like there are two items in particular that were really, truly atrocious, like just disgusting. Like they made me choke, eyes water, my hands turned black. Um, But the other stuff I've gotten has actually been pretty good. So I placed an order a large order, but I had, I mean, I'd like coupons and stuff like that. So this whole order, <laughs> I don't know how much it cost me, but I mean, it was probably, I think it was $66 in the end is how much I actually spent on this order. Um, and I don't even know if it was that much. <laughs> there may have been like another coupon in there or something too, but this whole order has, I believe, zero diamond painting related items. So this is kind of an experiment. We're going to see, this is a bunch of other things, other categories, and we're going to see what this looks like, okay? So that's what we're doing with this particular unboxing from Timo. So this is how it came. Um, you know, it, it did survive travel. It is a little, a little beat up. Uh, the whole point with Timu's shipping is economical value over like protecting product value so because obviously if you're going to try and protect the product that requires like boxing and um filler and that's very expensive not just for like packaging but to ship too versus you know being able to cram everything into a bag tape it up tight um that's going to really reduce your shipping costs okay so that is a very 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 long introduction for this we're going to go ahead we're going to open this up which i don't really need to use my scissors much because it is pretty ripped but like i said this is a bunch of random category items uh if you are kind of new I am not in my usual spot. Usually I do my unboxings at my desk, except when I have large unboxings. And this one was a pretty large package, and I thought it would just be a lot easier if I did this on the bed. So that is what I am doing here. All right, so we do have our package open now. And I'm going to actually kind of slide this over so it can give me room to take stuff out. So... <coughs> Excuse me, this is a broom, okay? This did come in this box here. I'm glad I did leave my scissors out, although I might not need them. Hold on. We need a new broom, uh, which is like an actual, we really truly do need an, a new broom. The one that we've had, uh, <laughs> uh, funny story. So the broom that we have had at the house that we have now lived in for over 15 years actually came from our third apartment um <laughs> somehow it was a broom that sat outside of our apartment door that I don't even know why because we were on the second floor I think you know it's meant to like clear off the landing but why the broom was upstairs I don't know but anyway um it was on the second floor landing and it was outside of our apartment door and so we would use it to sweep our kitchen but we always put it back well when we moved um i was pregnant and not very with it at the time it was the very end of my it was i was around 13 weeks pregnant um and so we had a lot of help having us move and like i said i wasn't real with it Versus the move before, I was spot on. I had literal charts and graphs telling everyone what went where. I mean, yes, but this one I wasn't. And so I think what happened is somebody saw this broom sitting outside of our apartment door and just assumed that that broom needed to go with us. <laughs> and it wasn't till a couple weeks later when we're like, Oh, you know, this isn't actually our broom, but we never, ever, ever, ever saw anyone else use it at the apartment. And it was not like a high quality broom. 
so it just kind of stayed living here. <laughs> um, but since then it has, it's, it's bit the dust and it's, we've needed a replacement desperately. So I saw this and this, it looks kind of cool. I liked that it came with like a, a base to it. Um, we will see if I can figure out how to put this together real quick. I mean, I figure it can't be that hard. I mean, this is clearly like a base piece. These are very lightweight. They sound and look like they might be heavy. They're not. I mean, this whole thing, this isn't even a pound for these pipe pieces here. So very, very, very lightweight. Oh, I guess I didn't listen. There are actually, see, there are instructions on this box here. I am kind of notorious for not really paying attention to those instructions. But the one thing I'm kind of wondering about, oh yeah, okay, it does, it does screw together. Ooh, that is a squeaky noise. All right, so that all screws together. Then this looks like it's probably meant to go into here. Okay. This, I am not, oh, this I think must go on top, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. I'm so gonna edit this out. What is going on with this piece? This should not be so complicated. So this does kind of go on there like this. So then you do, oh, so then, okay. So then this is like a handle to hold this down on the ground. And then you take, oh, this, oh, look, this, oh, that swivels. And then you can take your brush or your broom and just sweep it in. Okay. So this is what I've done. I have attached it to my broom. Turn it around this way, broom on this end. All right, I think that's how it goes together. I think, I don't really know. Uh, especially because I have two extra pieces and I don't think you're supposed to have extra pieces. Moving on to the next boxed item. This is a press the ice grid. Um, we don't have any ice, no, we have one ice tray. But we struggle with ice in this house. It's because we have a very, we have the largest possible refrigerator that we can for the space that is allotted, allotted for it in our house. But because we have a large family and a teeny tiny house, it's not large enough of a refrigerator freezer. <laughs> So we don't like to waste space using ice trays. But this, I thought, looked pretty compact. And it allows you to store your ice in here, too. So, um... I just found a whole new benefit to Timu. Um, it's going to help you stay sharp. Like your brain is going to have to, you know what? Just take the, take the top off. All right. Um, you fill these with water, you put them in, then 
I guess you need to put this piece on. I don't quite know what happens now. Well, I just remember it was something like you just go foop and all the ice cubes fall out. I don't understand how it works. I am, I'm baffled. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch other YouTube videos and maybe look at the demonstration on Timu again. Cause I think there was a video demonstration at the beginning with this. Uh, okay, when I figure it out, I will let you know, but we need to move on. I'm still baffled. Here are just some little, Oh, these are nice large ones. Little plastic storage containers for, for me, they'll be for stickers. But I'm excited. These are larger than what I thought. I have bought other ones that are quite a bit smaller than this. But this will be good because this will fit the larger single stickers that I have. So these are cute. And none of these are broken, which is really nice afraid to take this out um <laughs> all right why well, I was not anticipating all of these purchases to require so much brain power especially it is it's like after 10 o'clock at night right now like it is too late in the day for me to attempt these things apparently this one looks a lot easier okay so this, I wanted this because they advertise this as um, you can get on the ceiling and stuff, which is good. You know, you can get that dust and stuff that builds up on the ceiling. And this one seems to be a lot more put together already. This one, I feel like I can handle. I can manage this one. So this one was much easier. This, I know this is right. This does come off, it looks like. I don't know. Um, I would not put this in the washing machine, just hand wash it, but this does come off so you can clean it. Um, this should be really handy actually. I'm actually, um, pretty excited about this one. And like I said, the broom, I think I have other than the two extra pieces, but I think I did finally get that put together right. And this was easy. It's just the ice cube tray that I'm still totally stumped about. I apparently ordered two sets of these. Oh, that's right. You know why I did that? Because I bought um, a set of stickers for each of the kids for Christmas. Like a favorite. Like my son loves axolotls. So I bought a set of axolotl sticker stickers. And I'm going to put them in one of these. And then put that in their stacking. This is... The, it's a cup warmer. But actually I got it for my daughter. So my older two daughters love to burn candles. But... They're young teens, and they kind of scare me half to death because, you know, do they remember to turn off their candles? Turn, turn, that's, that's what my daughter says. You turn off candles. You don't. You just blow them out. You extinguish them. You don't, <laughs> you don't turn off candles. Um, so I got this. So even though it is a cup warmer, it works really well for, um, melting candles especially your smaller jar candles um you put this on here and you can turn it on and it will melt the wax in there and so the scent will still go out even stronger actually than when you're burning a candle so that is why i got this blue is her favorite color i already got one for my older daughter that i assume is working for her is there a sticker on top of here that i can peel off yes there we go um so that's what this is for. It is too small and not strong enough, I think, to do like a large jar candle. But your smaller jar candles, this works fantastic. I actually highly, highly recommend using a warmer plate like this for your candles. Okay, this is... Oh, these are supposed... These are just sponges. <laughs> and that's all that these are. These are just sponges. That's it. <laughs> not exciting. I'm not even going to take them out of the way. This is a sign. I actually bought this for my parents. It is smaller than what I thought. And it did arrive a little bit bent. Um, not bad. Uh, I was kind of curious how it would come knowing how Timu is shipped. But because it is, it's a metal. Anyway, uh, 
you know, even though it is a little bit bent and stuff, it is just a metal. But anyway, my parents, they have this porch group in their new retirement community that they're living in. And I thought this would be just a nice little gift for them. So that's for my parents. These are just super cute little markers for like in your books and stuff. I don't know. Hopefully they won't like damage your pages in your books. I don't know about that. Um, and I don't really want to test it out just yet. But that's what this is. This little, you know, just little page markers. But cute. This is some clothing items. Now, I will say my hands are still getting kind of dirty. But nothing that I have opened yet has been so disgusting. It's been pretty normal warehouse grit, all right? So I do, I want to point that out. The messiest thing, like the thing that probably got me the dirtiest, it was one of these two got me the dirtiest. And I actually, I think this one actually might be the dustiest. But um, especially for like tool type items, like those are not not nothing that I would not expect from even like Amazon. The clothing bag, however, this bag is actually quite decent. These are some little pants that I bought for my little man. I'm hoping they'll be thin enough for him. All of my kids are quite skinny. <laughs> so I'm hoping they do have ties in here. So I'm hoping they'll be skinny enough for him. But they're cute. They got the little dinosaur. They feel pretty nice. So here we go. But I love they have little bitty pockets. And yeah, they're cute. So this is for my son. This is for a daughter. More clothes here. Okay, these do feel a little bit funky. <laughs> um, this is that kind of unpleasant feeling nylon type fabric um, and it is quite it is very sheer but uh I think they were like three bucks and I was thinking she could use them for pajamas so this is daughter number two and I was just thinking pajama shorts so they should be fine for that <sighs> these are pajamas for my oldest she loves, loves cats. She's always loved cats. Even as a preschooler, she's loved cats. These feel a little, these feel nicer, okay? These feel nicer. It's still a lower quality material, but these, it is definitely nicer than that last pair that I took out. Um, yeah, this is cute. So, just cute. I think I'm going to hold on to these until her birthday in October. My kids don't watch my videos anymore. <laughs> At least they generally don't. But yeah, this is... It's a 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So, there is some... Mm, okay, the spandex... I don't think is 5% in the material down here. <laughs> Um, there's not a whole lot of give, so that could, I don't know, could be referencing the elastic band. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's actually a pretty nice material. These are cute. These are actually really, really nice. I think she'll enjoy those. And then pajamas for my youngest. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. There's only one kid that's not represented in here for pajamas. Huh. I didn't even realize that, like, when I picked all this stuff out. This is the same material as my oldest daughter's pajamas with the cats on it. Um, these look a little bit wide for him, but he's tall and lean. All of my kids are tall and lean. They kind of all go from being really, really petite like, this particular child wasn't even on the charts at one point in his life. And then he stayed, like, right around the 10th percentile. And then it's like all of a sudden they grow. And they remain thin, but grow up. <laughs> and so they all are long and lean. But this is really cute. These are cute. 
And it's the same material, like I said, as what my oldest daughter's pajamas are. Um, you know, it's not your soft cotton, but it is really cute. The one thing I'm kind of wondering about is in the United States, all children pajamas, see it's the same thing. All children pajamas are supposed to be fire retardant. And I don't know that these are. So that's something that might be, you know, worth looking into if that matters to you. Um, especially by the time my child, he just, he just had a birthday. He just turned eight. Um, I don't, I don't feel like that's really that big of a deal anymore. So yeah, but anyway, these are cute. These are a bunch of little items. These are cute. Totoro inspired charms. These are cute little Christmas tree charms. This is, I think it's a little brush to like clean your keyboard. Yep, that's what this is supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to use this to clean out your computer keyboard or other little nooks and crannies, obviously, that will work. These are supposed to be hooks. Now, I got this for our shower. I'm hoping, if I can get this open, I'm hoping that this will stick inside of our shower. We have one shower for six people. And um, we don't have enough places to hang loofahs. So I'm kind of hoping, looks like this blue comes off. not does not come off cleanly let's say it, but this blue does indeed come off oh man this it does not come off clean though but it does it will eventually all come off right <laughs> i think so um but anyway and then the back is just a sticker it's it's all that this is but i thought you know it was so cheap and our shower is not exactly a luxury shower that if this leaves some horrendous mark behind, trust me, it's not going to make a one heck of a difference. Oh, but this base part, trying to get the blue off down here. All right, I will finish taking the rest of that blue off later. You don't need to see all of that nonsense. That's just kind of going overboard. Oh, um, fish hooks in case I want to do some gold earrings. However, these, because I got them from Timu, I'm not going to guarantee that these are nickel free. So that is something that I will have to note if I give them away to people or if I do decide to open that Etsy shop, who knows? Um, but I will want to note that. I can't guarantee that these are nickel-free. I might be able to figure it out by wearing a pair. Then I'll know. Um, <laughs> after a while, nickel does tend to bother my ears. And then finally, this was a shirt that I got for me. Sizing is hard for me, so I don't know how this is going to fit. I went super-duper big because reviews all said to go super-duper big. <laughs> so that's what I did. I went large. Um, my biggest problem is my, my boobs are enormous. I, I, if there were one like cosmetic related surgery I could do, I would have a breast reduction. I'm just, I'm just letting the whole world know that I would have a breast reduction in a heartbeat. Um, so it makes finding tops for me very, very difficult. Um, but this is cute. I like... The squirrel on the back. I kind of kind of wish the squirrel weren't all the way way down there. I mean, there's another one up here. Got a little bird. I mean, this is really quite cute. So I mean, it's a cute little pattern. It's different from the pajamas. So this is I got this is a three XL, and this is one hundred percent polyester. Um, but you know what? <laughs> It has more stretch than the pajamas do. So, uh, 
one thing I know, <laughs> one thing I know quite well are fibers. And um, that last pair, there's no way that it was 5% spandex in those pajamas. That literally was probably referring to the elastic band inside of the waist. Um, Because this has a lot more stretch. Polyester, you can get a stretch to it. So, but this is kind of cute. We'll see how it fits. I am not a huge synthetic fiber fan on my body. I think it feels a little bit weird, but um, I wanted to give this a try. It's cute. I like it. All right, guys, I think that's actually everything now. So <laughs> that was a ton of stuff. And I can double check, but I'm pretty sure I paid $66 total in the end. And you just, I mean, you can't. You just can't beat that kind of a price. So even for the items that are kind of meh, um, it's not like I took a huge financial loss, especially when most of this stuff I think will work out really, really well. Um, yeah, that is. That is everything. But, I mean, I got two pair of pants for my son, pajamas for my son, pajamas for my oldest daughter, pajama shorts for my middle daughter, a little present for my parents, an ice cube thing that I don't understand how it works. I got some plastic containers. I got a shirt for me. I got a candle warmer. I got a broom and I got like a, a ceiling cleaner and I got some um, charms and fish hook earring things and some, I think these are like a dollar that I'm going to try and put in my shower and then whatever this thing is called. Um, and sponges. <laughs> All right, so that is a Timu unboxing that is really not even craft related almost at all. Other than, you know, just a couple of these type things, it's not even a craft related unboxing. That just kind of gives you an idea. You got to be able to think and use your brain to figure out how to put some of the stuff together, but that is only healthy for you. Let's stave off dementia. And I, if I think of it, I will give you guys an update about how this stuff works out. And especially if I can figure out how to use that ice cube thing. All right. So like I always, always say at the end of every video, please practice kindness. You, you don't know what someone's going through. Uh, think about yourself on the worst day that you've ever had. And my guess is you probably were not the friendliest person to be around and rightfully so, and so you don't know if the person that you run into today is having their worst day ever. So just be kind, show a little bit of extra patience, and I sincerely hope that you are shown that same level of kindness and patience in return. I hope that you are having a wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon. I think I figured out the ice thing. All right, so after your cubes are frozen, okay, then you put your tray, make sure this is lined up correctly, this ring part. But then you set your tray, see ice will be frozen in here. You put this in upside down like this. And then you put this on. And then, not that way though. You put the lid on. And then if you push down on this part, the ice might all fall out and go into the container. Ta-da! Maybe. I don't know. I'll try it out. I'll let you know.